Hello there, and thank you for clicking in. I do appreciate it. And I appreciate all the new subscribers. I'm up to like 800, which is, we're kind of in PewDiePie territory there, which is great. But listen, my name is Dennis. My first name is Dennis. My middle name is Brendan. And my last name is Regan. Now, I know this is not particularly interesting information, and this won't help with my audience retention numbers here on the internet, but uh, please just stick with me for a minute if you may. Um, that's the way my name looks when it's written properly and correctly. It's spelled properly and everything like that. You see the first letter of each name is capitalized and the other letters aren't. That's one thing about it. But I had to do that. I had to, I had to do that so you could see what my name looks like written out correctly because no one else seems to be get, able to get it right anymore. No one seems to be able to nail it down. Let me show you what I'm talking about. This is Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines uh, boarding pass or anything. They like this is the way they like to write my name. This is their style. They like to put my my last name first. My last name first. My middle name goes last, and my first name goes right there smack dab in the middle. That's the way they like it. They make it all caps and they scrunch it. They scrunch it all together, like they're like as if it was one word. It's not. It's not one name. Can I get a space delta? Do I have to pay extra for a space? Like I do when I want an aisle seat or if I want a place to put my legs when I'm sitting on the airplane? Do I, how much is it, 75 bucks? I'll pay, I need two spaces. Can I get that? Look at this. Southwest, they didn't charge me. I got my space for free on Southwest. Oh, but they put it, they put it in a place where I really don't need it. They put it in the middle of my middle name. Yeah, my middle name is not Burr Enden. That's it. That's not my middle name. My middle name is Brendan. Here's another example. They got the order right, but uh, they they did a semi scrunch. They scrunched my first and middle names together, and they neglected to capitalize the B, making it really seem like Dennis Brendan was my first name or my middle. I don't know my last. I don't know. And here's an outfit that thought it was important to put my first name first my middle name in the middle, and my last name nowhere. Here I stayed in this hotel, and they did a squash job on my name, but they also, they cut off the last N in my middle name, making my middle name Brenda, which is a girl's name. Brenda's a girl's name, or a woman's name. It's not a guy's name. I guess it could be a guy's name, but it's not this guy's name. Take a look at this hatchet job done by American Airlines. They cut off the A-N and just call me Dennis Brend. Dennis Brend, that's unacceptable. Take a look at this. What does that look like to you? What does that look like? Well, that's the way I write American Airlines. That's the way I write it now. What, American, you don't like it? What do you want? You want another letter? You want another letter? Okay, because I'm a very nice person, a very uh, special Especially kind person. I'm going to give you another letter. There you go. There's your other letter. That's. But you know what I'm going to have to do? I'm going to have to scrunch them all together. That's, that's how I ride American Airlines now. I was in China not too long ago. That was a cool trip. But this is the way they wrote my name. They, they call me Dennis Brendo. Brendo. I don't know. I guess I kind of like it. But it's not my name. Here was another airline in Asia. They uh, chopped it as close, real close. Bren. They make my middle name Bren. But look, they wrote it twice. They wrote it kind of big, and then right underneath it, they wrote it again. It's small. I guess they wanted to emphasize their incorrectness. Here's an outfit that likes to call me Brandon. That's my middle name to them. Dennis Brandon Regan, which isn't my name. You know what, though? It is the alias that I like to use whenever I commit felonies like uh, grand larceny or aggravated vandalism. Hey, I rent cars from this company here that likes to call me Dennis B. Yeah, they just put the B at the end of Dennis. Like, uh, my name is Dennis B. Like I was named after Mushmouth on the Fat Albert cartoons. Yeah, that's my name. Dennis B. Regan B. 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 Dennis B. Regan. Dennis B. Brendan B. 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 Regan B. Here's a, uh, a company that likes to give me two middle initials. 
BR, Dennis BR Regan. I don't even know where to start with this. And look at this conglomeration thrown together by United Airlines. I guess they were trying to show some respect or give it some class by putting the mister on there. But uh, come on, you know, at some point this just all went horrifically wrong. And it's not just travel around town. I went to GNC and I joined their frequent shopper club or whatever. And uh, I told the guy there was two N's in Dennis, but I forgot to tell him there's no Y. So this is the way he spells my name. This is the way he writes my name. I see it on the receipt like that. See that? You ever seen that before? Yeah, at the Denny's restaurant. But notice the apostrophe in Denny's. There's no apostrophe in mine. I've never seen my name spelled that way, but now I am uh, guaranteed to get a lifetime supply of emails with my name spelled incorrectly. Speaking of uh, Denny's, I recently went to Wendy's. Yeah, I went to Wendy's and uh, I told them I was going to be dining in and that my name was Dennis. And then I get my re receipt and this is what this is what they this is what I see in my receipt. This is dense. Dense. You know what the definition of the word dense is? What does it say? They're stupid. Slow-witted. Dull. Now, if I wasn't so smart, I might think they were trying to insult me. But here's the real clincher. Right here in my neighborhood, they named a street after me. Yeah. And they spelled my name wrong. They spelled it with one N. One N. It's so ridiculous. Oh, and by the way, I'm no saint. 